On the island nation of Ireland lies a genetic mystery that has long intrigued scientists. Why do the Irish have the highest rate of her negative blood in the world? While the vast majority of humanity, over 85%, carries the art positive factor, as many as 26 and 29% of the Irish population are art negative. And in some Western coastal regions, this figure exceeds 32%. This extraordinary proportion not only sets them apart medically, but also opens a window into the deep past of Europe, where genes and bloodlines tell the story of human evolution from the post-Ice Age era to the modern day. To understand this mystery, we must first explore what RH negative blood type actually is and why it is so rare. Our way each negative blood. Rhesus negative is a special genetic variant within the RH in blood group system, which is determined by the presence or absence of the D antigen on the surface of red blood cells. Individuals who possess the D antigen are classified as RHO positive RH plus, while those who lack it are RHO negative RH. This seemingly small difference carries profound biological significance. In RH minus individuals, the RHD gene responsible for encoding the D antigen is deleted or inactivated preventing the production of this specific protein. In human evolution, RH is considered a rare form because the vast majority of the global population, over 85%, retains an active copy of the RHD gene. The rarity of RH gene originates from recessive inheritance patterns in biological selection. For an individual to express the RH or phenotype, they must inherit two deleted copies of the RHD gene one from each parent. This means that the RHH trait only appears when both parents are either RH themselves or silent carriers of the recessive variant. Moreover, RH negative can cause H incompatibility during pregnancy. When an RH negative mother carries an RH plus fetus, leading to severe immune complications, this mechanism likely reduced the natural frequency of RH human. In human populations, as in ancient times, before the advent of modern medicine, the survival and reproductive success of RH minus individuals could have been adversely affected. However, in certain populations, such as the Irish RH occurs with an unusually high frequency. In this island nation, the proportion of individuals with RH negative blood is the highest in the world, averaging between 26-29% and reaching up to 32% in some Western coastal regions. This distinction is not merely a medical curiosity, but also a window into humanity's distant past. Genetic analyses of both ancient and modern DNA have revealed that the prevalence of Irish among the Irish is not a random occurrence, but the result of tens of thousands of years of evolution isolation and natural selection, reflecting a unique genetic chapter in the history of Europe. To understand this phenomenon, one must first examine the genetic structure of the Irish people. Modern genetic studies reveal that the Irish are among the populations most deeply marked by the legacy of ancient Western European hunter-gatherers groups who settled on the island more than 10,000 years ago as the melting of the Ice Age made it habitable once again. Ancient DNA analyses from archaeological sites such as Sandalsor and Kira indicate that the RH negative trait was already present during this period, demonstrating that it is not the result of recent random mutations, but rather a legacy of an ancient bloodline preserved through millennia of isolation. Some analyses of ancient DNA have shown that haplotypes surrounding the RHD gene region in the Irish population exhibit low levels of recombination, demonstrating high genetic stability and conservation. These rare variants, which have disappeared in many other European populations, have been preserved in Ireland, suggesting that prolonged isolation and a relatively small population size protected them from genetic dilution. The global distribution map of RH negative blood reveals a curious pattern. It is heavily concentrated in Western Europe particularly in Ireland and the Basque Country, Spain, where the frequency can reach as high as 35%.
Despite being located at opposite ends of the European peninsula, these two populations share many genetic similarities such as the male haplogroups R1b DF27 and I2a1, both tracing their origins to post-Ice Age hunter-gatherer populations of Western Europe. These findings support the hypothesis that the Irish and the Basques are descendants of an ancient lineage that existed before the Neolithic era prior to the arrival of Anatolian farmers in Europe. Within this context, the REH negative blood type can be viewed as a kind of biological signature, a remnant of prehistoric peoples who have vanished from most other parts of the world. Genetic variants associated with the RH factor, particularly RHCE and RH Fudden, show significant divergence between the Irish and continental European populations. The genetic differentiation index, FST, ranges from 0.0218 to 0.042 levels high enough to indicate long-term isolation and distinctive natural selection. Ireland's geographic isolation as an island separated from the mainland for thousands of years has functioned as a kind of natural laboratory, allowing rare genetic variants to persist and accumulate over many generations. Combined with the founder effect, a phenomenon in which a small number of initial individuals pass on their genes to an entire population, the frequency of the RH negative blood type was uniquely amplified, shaping the distinct genetic identity of the Irish people. But the story does not end with isolation. Geneticists have also discovered that the Irish possess the highest frequency of haplogroup R1b in Europe, with more than 80% of men carrying this lineage, a striking genetic legacy of the ancient Europeans who lived after the Ice Age, as well as traces of so-called ghost DNA genetic sequences that do not match any known ancient human population. Some studies suggest that these factors may influence the immune system, including the expression of the RH blood group, which is linked to proteins on the surface of red blood cells, and to immune responses involving RH incompatibility during pregnancy. This may help explain why such a rare trait as RH negative has persisted through thousands of years of evolution, because it may once have conferred certain biological advantages in ancient environments where pathogens and harsh living conditions demanded complex genetic adaptations. The genetic history of Ireland also reflects three major waves of migration that shaped the island's population structure. The first after the Ice Age around 10,000 BCE brought Western European hunter-gatherers. The second around 4,000 BCE introduced Neolithic farmers from Anatolia and the third between 2500 and 2000 BCE saw the arrival of people associated with the beaker culture carrying the R1b haplogroup. However, unlike many other regions of Europe, Ireland maintained a remarkable degree of genetic stability. Periodic bottleneck effects further reinforced the influence of rare genetic variants, allowing REH negative to become an amplified rather than a lost trait within the population. Some genome-wide evidence indicates that the western and northwestern regions of Ireland, where the REH negative blood type is most prevalent, show the lowest levels of genetic diversity, reflecting a strong effect of genetic drift. In other words, it was cultural and geographical isolation that allowed the RH negative lineage to be amplified and preserved over time. Another line of research focuses on the correlation between RH negative blood and HLA human leukocyte antigen factors, the gene system that regulates the body's immune responses. Certain HLA genotypes common among the Irish appear to be more compatible with the RH negative traits, suggesting that these two factors may have co-evolved under selective pressures linked to ancient diseases or to the cold, humid environment characteristic of the island. This genetic structure not only influences blood group expression, but is also associated with physiological traits such as cold tolerance, inflammatory response, and cellular oxygen exchange. Today, with the advancement of whole genome sequencing technology, the Irish population has become one of the most extensively studied groups in the field of personalized medicine. Owing to the high frequency of the RH negative blood type, and its associated variants, scientists are able to trace the origins of the RHD deletion gene 
and investigate how these variations influence immunity oxygen transport and inflammatory responses. Many European research centers now regard the iris genome as a window into the past of Western European genetics. The story of the arch negative blood type among the Irish thus extends far beyond the realm of medicine. It represents a slice of evolutionary history, a reflection of how geographic isolation, natural selection, and ancient migrations intertwine to shape a people. This blood type is not merely a biological marker, but a testament to time itself where ancient genes continue to live within modern bodies, silently recounting tens of thousands of years of evolution that no written chronicle has ever preserved. Today, geneticists continue to search for answers to this enduring mystery. Is the RH negative trait merely a random variant preserved through isolation, or does it represent the legacy of a distinct ancient lineage that helped shape the peoples of Europe? Could the immune differences associated with RH status have played a role in the survival of Ireland's ancestors during the harsh post-Ice Age environment? Each new discovery within the Irish genome not only sheds light on the past of a single nation, but also deepens our understanding of human evolution itself, an evolutionary journey in which even the smallest traces in our DNA can tell the greatest stories of humankind's history. From the ancient hills of Connemara to the windswept shores of Galway, her negative blood still flows quietly through the veins of millions of Irish people today, like a red thread connecting them to the hunter-gatherer ancestors who once lived here in the Age of Ice. Every RH negative blood cell in the body of an Irish person reminds us that history is not only written in books, but also inscribed within human DNA where the smallest mysteries can hold the greatest story of our origins and evolution.